love that. Jerry Rafferty, 98.7 WFGR. It's Baker Street. It is 816. Andy O and Dave Kegley is over across from me. He's working on a traffic report, which yes. everybody's been waiting with bated breath for. Lay it on us, Dave. All right. Moderate heavy traffic flow is continuing as you cruise east and westbound I-96, the Ford north and southbound 131. No major incidents or accidents going right now. We do have construction slowdowns. 28th between Kraft and Patterson, still down to one lane in both directions there. Looking at uh, construction delays as well. East and westbound I-96, 112th Avenue, still down to one lane in both directions in that area as well. That project uh, should wrap up uh, sometime in the early part of December. I'm looking at our uh, guilty little friend over here. Yeah. Who was up all night playing yeah. his Xbox? <laughs> no, mom. Really, I was. I was studying. I, I was swear, working. I was doing I was like, homework, mom. No, That's no, no. what I was doing. It wasn't the Xbox. No. no. <laughs> Let's talk about the weed difference. This is uh, what we started here. Uh, I think we announced it back in December, right? And the idea behind the weed difference is to give charities a chance to get the word out about their cause and about how they started and what their mission is. Right. Not that there's anything wrong with the American Cancer Society or Komen for the Cure or anything like that, but there's just so many small organizations mm. that want to make a difference in people's lives that they just don't have the budget or the time or the staff or whatever to get the word out. So we thought, hey, we can take care of that, didn't we? Put, the, put them in the spotlight. Put them in the spotlight. And today we are talking about Team Keegan. And Keegan is standing across over here from us. He's the one with the... Uh, Cat that just ate the canary look on his face because he got to stay up all night and play his Xbox. And uh, Jennifer Bulk is his mom. Jennifer, hi. How are you? Hi. Welcome hi. to the show. You want to grab some headphones there so you can hear yourself? Or you, 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 you want the whole experience or the half experience? Either which way is fine with us. Dave will plug you in there. How's that? Good. Wow. Now you're on the radio. Nice. Let's talk a little bit about Keegan over here. Tell us about Keegan today. Keegan is currently in remission. He's been in remission since May 6, 2011. He had um, a cancerous inoperable brain tumor on September 29, 2010, a day before his ninth birthday, and he had a port placement, six cycles of chemo, and 30 radiation treatments to his head and spine. This is a nine-year-old wow. that's yep. got to go through this. Yep. Talk about the effects. Everybody hears about chemo. Everybody knows about chemo. What What are the effects on somebody as small as, as a nine year old? Um, there is great amount of effect. Um, right now Keegan is suffering from long and short term memory loss from his radiation treatment, his IQ and uh, stunt in growth because of the radiation really so it's it's, it's lasting effects it's not just mm -hmm. what it takes to get rid of the tumor yeah it plays out for a couple of years still. And this is two years now right two yes. three how, how long he two is years in now. remission two years two years all right yeah. well you guys decided to take a bad situation and turn it into something that's really positive now what how did the idea come about for team keegan um keegan had to have uh 64 neuprogen shots and it helps raise up his blood count after chemos and stuff, and he, on the 10th Neupogen shot, we had to give it to him at home in his thigh, and he would... Um, Is it a painful shot, <laughs> Keegan? Does it hurt when they give you that shot? Compared to some other shots, does this one really hurt? Yes. Does it? Yeah, yeah. I had a couple of those, too. I was in the hospital earlier this year. It sucked. I hated it. And every time they'd come in with this one kind of shot, it was like they punched you in the leg. Is that what it was like? Was it like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible, yeah. isn't it? I know what you're going through. All right, anyway... Yeah, so he would, um, on his 10th shot, he said he wasn't going to do it anymore. And we ended up bribing him with an Xbox game. <laughs> <laughs> whatever there it takes, you go. right? <laughs> yeah, so we just said whatever. Whatever want, it takes, yep. you want. And so the idea behind our Team Keegan treasure boxes is that after a child has a poke, a chemo struggle, they can go to their prize box, pick out a Team Keegan toy, and have that as an incentive for being brave. That's awesome. Did I tell you you were going to love this story or that what? That is so cool. Now, you've got Team Keegan, and you're doing these present boxes, and they're mm -hmm. going, are they going all over West Michigan? Are they going all over the country? To, how, how far is your reach? We have reached 32 states, and we have sent out 182. Wow. Dude, I told you. I told you. I told you this wee different <laughs> stuff. You, you, you get common people. The deal with insurmountable odds yeah. against them. And look at your eyes. They're getting glassy. 
I told you, you big dope. I told you you were gonna get all misty eyed. Right. You, <laughs> you got me. You get sm- you get people like this that want to make an honest difference in the lives of other people, and they do it as they battle it themselves. Yeah, it's it's really look at him. No, it's it, it's uplifting when you hear stuff like this. Because yeah. you think about the typical stuff you and I go through, right. daily grind, you know, bitching and moaning about having to be up. Well, you know, you. Three, four, okay, okay, mostly me. But, <laughs> you know, when you get a nine-year-old kid dealing with this and then his mom and you're, you, you decide, you know what, we're not going to complain about this. We're going to help other people out. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to brighten their day. Yeah. And it really, it's inspirational. It really is. It's unbelievable. That a night, and you, this was your idea, Keegan, when you were nine years old, that you were going to start this thing up. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Now you're eleven. What do you uh, What do you got plans for the future here? I mean, you must have some pretty big ideas. I'm don't gonna... go into radio. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, go not... into radio. If you ever call us back <laughs> yes. and say, "Hey, you know that time I was in the radio station with uh, you is great. I want to do it. I want to be an intern." No, no. We're going to turn you away and <laughs> do something more productive, we're like gonna, you're doing now. We're going to paddle you and send you yeah. back to play your Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> More, pro- more productive. Son, your mom your said time. she'd understand if we did this. You'll have to get get it through. No, honestly, do you have plans for the future? Do you know something that you'd like to do with the rest of your life? Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be a? F- I mean, what do you want to do? I told you, shrugs don't work on the radio. You're gonna have to talk. <laughs> Step right up there. You got an idea? Uh, yeah, you got, I don't know. You don't know don't yet? Know. Yeah, that's okay. You got plenty of time. You got plenty of time. And this, is t- so tell us a little bit about how you reach out to people through your website, through phone numbers. I mean, how do you get the word out about Team Keegan? Yep, we have a Facebook page, okay. which is um, facebook.com forward slash Team Keegan. Okay. And um, they can reach us on our website, which is team-keegan.com. And we have a donation button on there. We accept new, unopened toys and monetary donations. So you could do if, if somebody was out there and wanted to do a cash donation, they could do that through your website, secured yep. probably through your website. Yep. Or like, do you do do you do any events throughout the year that uh, you can raise money with or gather up toys? Yep, we actually have um, a few events planned. We have our Matthew Huff concert in September twenty eighth. Where is that going to be? At the Dogwood Center in Fremont. I know Fremont really well. My yep. wife's from Hesperia. You know about those people, don't you, Keegan? <laughs> Hespatuckians, <laughs> that bunch of freaks. <laughs> mm-hmm. So at the Dogwood, okay. Then what else? Yep. Um, and then we do our, um, we have Christmas Eve at the hospital where we donate toys to the inpatients and their siblings on Christmas Eve, and we throw a pizza party for them. So we ask for donations for toys for those. Let's see, if you're up in the Fremont area, I'm guessing you're either calling Fat Boys or who else? We have actually had a few places. Yeah, well, everybody wants to be a part of, of that. Course. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep, and we team up with Caps for Clayton. Okay. So they donate hats to kids with cancer. Right. So So awesome. Well, Keegan, dude, look what you started here, man. Are you do you, do you feel excited about this? Is it, are you still nervous? Yeah. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Oh. But you're excited about this. I mean, you've done an amazing thing here, my friend. Don't you think? Did you ever stop and think that you would be sending that many gifts out to people all over the country who were in the same shoes you were? Yes. You did? Yeah. You planned you it all along. You knew it. No, see, that's foresight for there you. There you go. He's and that's why Keegan is where he is. Well, Jennifer, Keegan, our, our pledge to you is this. You're in the wee difference. We'll expose you for the whole month. But if there's anything we can do to help your organization out, be it come up there and help out at the show, maybe announce a fundraiser that you're doing or anything like that, we got your back. Okay. And that goes on throughout the entire year. And whenever you need a hand, you let us know, and we'll spread the word. Okay, thank you so much. Absolutely. You're welcome. So learn more about it online at WFGR.com with uh, Team Keegan. And you want to say anything before you go? I know I know what he's got to say. What? Got a shout-out to a special lady you'd like yeah. to say, Keegan? Huh? No? no? Hey, keep that under wraps. He's got, he's got a few of them out there. He doesn't yeah, want right. to <laughs> leave any of the girls out. He still blushes. Yeah. Look at him. Does a good job at it, too. All right. Keegan, Jennifer, thanks so much. What an amazing thing you've started here, and congratulations on doing such a great thing for everybody else. Thank you so much. Pretty selfless of you guys, and that's that's what we like to see. Congratulations. Team Keegan, everybody. Learn more about it on WFGR.com. 